Previously on the seventh guest, we played the mini game in the microscope against Stauf, who proves to be a formidable opponent. We lost this game, but the question is, will we lose the next? And we're back in the laboratory. Time to play this microscope game yet another time. So, here we go. Stauf, this time I hope you've dumbed down a bit. <laughs> Maybe your brains have deteriorated a little. I find it highly unlikely, but we'll see. Now, another thing about this puzzle. I mean, you can see that he's a damn good player, Mr. Stauf. They actually re re-released this game on like, I don't know, I think it was Android and whatever. And they uh, decided to cut this puzzle or this mini game from the game, you know, in that re-release. Because it was just too difficult, so, can you imagine? Right, we'll start the same like we did previously. Uh, do it like this. Right. Um. Yeah, already I need to make choices. If I move over here, then he can't get to me at any point really, so we'll do that. Right now, I can move to him. However, if I do that, I overtake only one cell. And then he'll be able to get back onto me, like straight after. So, however, he can also jump right to me at this point, which, you know, will overtake two cells. So, I think the best move here would be to just jump to him. That's not it. Or, are we gonna play on the aggressive? You know what? Yeah, maybe I should, maybe I should play on the aggressive here. Yeah, we will. We'll jump right here. He'll overtake it. Look. No harm done so far, really. What we are gonna do, though, is overtake these two. However, that will mean that he will jump right here. So, all That's in all, right. this is already a very bad start. <laughs> right. If he moves over there, though... Then, hmm, crap, <laughs> balls. Yeah, if I do it like this there, then maybe I have some more attack moves against him? No, won't be very likely. You know what, we'll just defend ourselves. We'll take this as a lost move. Right, now that's good. Oh, I can't jump to there. <laughs> I thought I could jump there, but I can't. Right. That's not it. No, you're right. That's not it indeed. Um, you know what? I, If I were to jump with this one... Yeah, I just have this... Yeah, we... we oh, man. That's not it. Man, Stauf, why do you always make things so difficult? Alright, you know what? We're gonna go over here. Maybe over here is better. Would that be better, really? That's not it. You know what? I'm gonna leave it like that. <laughs> We're gonna move over here. This is like a deadlock, really. I don't see ourselves coming out of that too soon, so... Fine. Since we're now just minding our own business anyway, uh, I'll wait for you to make the first move. Even though he has a massive advantage over us. We'll wait for him. Right... If I go over here, he'll jump. If I go over here, probably this cell will jump. Though I think that's the safer option. Look at that. Interesting here, Stauf, what you're doing. You want me to take these cells. That's four. However, by doing so, I'd open myself up for you to overtake uh, this over here. So, we are going to be a bit of counter-initiative here. And I just said that I would trust, have to trust my instincts more on this. But I think that if we go over here, we'd overtake these three. We could still take one back, but... 
You know, we'd have more scoring options thereafter. So we'll do that. Jump there. Look, see? More scoring options. Though this is just leading to the same results, really, but... Bah! <laughs> right, we'll have to do it like this. I mean... Oh! Interesting, he doesn't go for the five. Okay. Well, he does force me into only overtaking one, because I do need to shore that up. And then he makes that dick move. Look at this. <laughs> I mean, this is the worst start ever, really. <laughs> right. Yeah, I figured he'd do that. Um, you know what? We are going to make the move that he'd usually make right now, and that is this one. So, here, overtake this. Yeah, good boy. Right now, I got a surprise for you. Look. Oh, that might not have been the best move. I should have moved the other one. Great, <laughs> another mistake on my part. <laughs> not helping in the slightest, but fine. <laughs> it is what it is. Alright, you over there. Yeah, this is a lost game really, so I'm just quickly finishing it right now. Oh, what a dick move. Right, well, in that case, um, we'll move you there. Yeah, see, he's just being an aggressive player at this point. And um, rightfully so, because as you can see, <laughs> there's only green on the top side. I mean, he's just, uh, he has won the game already, so we might as well finish it quickly. I mean, oh, balls, look at that. <laughs> yeah, now this is even worse play from my should part. Should I have done that? No, <laughs> I should have done, I should have shirt that hole up, really. It seems that he's actually playing better than he was Great last move. time. So, yeah. <laughs> Hmm, not all that good, really. Alright, I'll do it like this. This is gonna be horrible. <laughs> oh no, look at that. It seems, though, that each time Stauf has, like, the better scoring options. Now, that has to do with That's our own it. play, of course, but it just, I don't know. That's or it. I'm playing that bad that it always turns out like that. But it just, he just, look at this. Doesn't matter what I do. He'll always have four things to overtake. Only, that is only not the case. That's not it. If I move this one over here, by which I only overtake one, and he can then take two back. So we're not gonna do that. But hell, yeah, man. He's just. He has good stuff. Annoyingly good. You know, unhumanly good, I might add. So. That's not it. No, but that will. Leave more scoring options. Right. Curses! Yeah, I figured I figured he'd do that. Uh, I kind of, you know, let him into that. So, right. Well, since the game is lost anyway, um, look at this. <laughs> I mean, look at this. I must say that you know, this is particularly bad. I mean, I've been playing this game, you know quite a lot you know, when I installed it uh, a month ago and I haven't really had a game go this bad I mean this is particularly bad so oh, man. L look at him just being aggressive and all that only move I could make really he just totally cornered me in and then he has that option to score. I'm going to have to start again. See, that is the thing that I mean. He's always getting the better end of the deals. Look at that. And then, yeah, you know, the only option that I really see here is to jump with. Uh, if I jump with this one, he can still overtake it, and then that would be the end of it, really. The only way he could not. Oh no. That's not it. I don't know, really. This is the end, so we might as well just, you know, have this be our last move. Well, this is trickier than it looks. Yeah. So, time to go to the book again. 
Stauf, <laughs> you become better each time I look at your book. <laughs> That's not how it's supposed to work. Alright, so we'll go back. Come on. Back to the library. And get another clue. So, what does the book say right now? To replicate a red blood cell... Um, dude, <laughs> there are no red blood cells, only blue and green ones. Select a vacant space, one or two squares away in any direction. If you jump over one other cell, the cell moves but does not replicate. Yeah, I know that. Those are the basic rules. That's not gonna help me anything against this monster AI of Stauf. So, <laughs> thank you for this pointless clue. Uh, we will try one other time. See if we can beat Stauf now and hopefully have a better start. Because, I mean, <laughs> that previous game, it just went horrible right from the get-go. I mean, jeez, man. Alright, Stauf, I hope hopefully you've dumped down a little bit now. So we'll find out. Oh. <laughs> it's another puzzle. Imagine inside a microscope. Me, don't act so surprised now. <laughs> You've seen this for the third time by now, so <laughs> this should not come as a surprise. Right, we will do the same. Move away. I could overtake him right now, but that lead to the same issues. So we're not going to do that. We're gonna go over here. Okay, now. We really need to overtake him. Otherwise, he'll jump over there. There's no other option, really. The only question is, though, are we going to jump or not? I think jumping right now is kind of pointless. So, we'll overtake him over here. Yeah, I expected that move, really. But, right now, luckily for us, the options are obvious. This is the right move to make. However, he'd be able to jump this one over there and overtake yet another f uh, four. And we would only be able to overtake three back. So he's already at a win. I don't... I mean, that's the thing, you know. That's not it. I mean, just... He is already at a better starting position. I think... Because he gets, you know, we have to start and he gets to react on us. That's why, you know, he's always in the advantage, it seems. This game really favors the player who has the second move, you know. Which is not us, in case you didn't know this. <laughs> so, right. Um, yeah, we need to make this move. I mean, he, no matter what he does, this is the only... Oh! Oh, Stauf. Well, that's interesting. I didn't figure you'd do that. Puts us on equal footing, really. Well, now he can overtake three. If I move this one over here, he can still overtake three. But I do feel that that's the only way to go. It's like the safest move, really. So we'll do that. Yeah, see? He'll, he can still overtake three. However, if I move this one over there, then we overtake three. Ah, he could also do the same to us again. The problem is, though, if I were to move over here, he can again overtake three and just corner us in. See, that's the thing with the reactive move. He's always on an advantage because of that. So, we'll go over here. Yeah. I expected that move. Totally, so not surprised there. However, what we can do now is jump over here. May, should we do that with this cell? Yeah, I think that that's actually the... Well, the question is, that's you know... Do we, do we do it with this one? Or with this one? I don't think it will make that much difference, really, in the end. So we'll do that. 
Here. You're out of this corner now, Stauf. Look, and... Then, I will... Move over... Here, I think. Or over here. I think this is actually smarter. I mean, he can overtake all he wants. But now, he, we have more scoring back options. I'm going to have to start again. Oh, no. No, I don't. <laughs> right, so... If I were to move over here, then we'd have this whole line. He could jump over. If I jump you over there, then we overtake these four. Yeah, but look, look at look at look at how many green cells there are. We need this to even remotely like right now we're more or less even. Oh, and he doesn't do that. Right. Interesting. Um Okay. Okay. Well. We're gonna clone you over there. I feel that that's the only real option that we have. Right. So we're gonna shore this up. Even though well, it wouldn't make that much difference. You know, this is defenses right now. Good stuff. I ex kind of expected this move here. <laughs> I do not really have an answer to it just yet, but it will come, I'm sure. Right, wait, hold on a second. If I move you there, can he reach that? Oh, he can move this one cell away. Right to there and overtake the whole damn lot. Right, so that's not good. However, if I move this one away, or that one, it's a bit equal, but then he will have four cells to overtake. If I do this, he only has three. Oh no, he will also get four. Question is, do I want him to overtake it? Excuse me, over here? Or over here? I'd rather have it over here, because we ha then have a chance of getting them back. So we'll do this. Oh, he only overtakes three. He's setting up for something, really. Because... Well, you know, the thing is, what I really need to do is secure this. However, by doing that, I don't win any cell spots, so to say. But I do think that that's the safest way to go. So, we'll take the hit here. And right now, he has opened himself up a little bit to an attack, which will do. This is a win, really, for... No. <laughs> no, never mind. Right, so that wasn't all that good. Well, what I could do is jump... Well, I don't want to jump, because that just opens me up to even more attacks. So... What I really need is this cell here to be gone. It's like festering inside. And that way, he, this one won't be able to jump anywhere anyway. It's only this one that's going to be dangerous. And he'll most likely jump over here after that. Though I have a feeling that he's kind of like following where I move with his reaction. That's not it. So what I could also do... Oh no, if I jump and take this one away, then he's going to move there. So yeah, we're going to do this. Oh, interesting move there, Stauf. Interesting move you did there. Right, I think that... Oh, if I do this though, he'll be able to overtake an absolute crap load of cells. That's not it. So we won't do that. Instead, we'll move over here. I know, leaving us open again to an, you know, to him. Yeah, to that. I was worried that won't happen, and it did. Crap balls. Right. Well, I can go over here though. Overtake three back, but we're on the losing end now. Each time we kind of like lose one cell to him, while he wins one, which is not really what I want. However, if I do... No, if I do that, then That's we still it. lose. So, I think, though, we go... No, we need to go over here, take three back. He's taken three from us, we will take three back. Alright, well, if I go over here now, he will be able to overtake this one. That one, that one, and that one. Don't want that at all, but... 
I don't really see any other options, to be honest. So, however, what I could do... That's clever. If I do this, then his cells can only move over here, really, to overtake us. They can't jump here. So... Oh. Interesting. Yeah, we'll do that. That takes out some threat. Right, <laughs> we got some threat back for that as well, but fine. Right now, if I go over here though... Yeah, we're losing this one again. I feel it. It's his... Because he gets the reaction turn, you know, each time. That's why he is winning this. Anyway, this is kind of like <laughs> more or less our only option at this point. So. Yeah, and then you do that. And I get to do nothing of interest right now. Because, well, you know, he... That's oh, man. Stauf, you're annoyingly good. Right, we'll do this. Screw all the risk. The game is lost now anyway, so... Yeah, see, he gets to overtake four. And what do I get? Nothing for it, really. Oh, I do get to do this. Right, we'll do that, then. So that he can jump into the little pocket. Which he doesn't do. Interesting. Well, I'll sure this up straight away. Oh, oh man. Stauf. I'm going to oh, start again. You're pulling the blood under my nails, really. Yeah, look look at this. It looks kind of similar to the previous game. Which also went horrible, so... There you have it. Typical, you know, typical results of this game are me losing horribly. Yeah, I figured he'd do that. And look, now I don't get to overtake four because he always ends up with a better scoring position. Oh man. Yeah, I need I need to do this. However, if I do that, then that's the last move that's I'll annoying. ever be able to make. So. We're going to jump over here. Now he'll have options. He does need to make a jump too right now. Nice. And that should give me another nice scoring position. Have to start again. Not as good as his, but, you know, I mean, I can overtake quite a few right here. That's not it. Let's see if I can... No, I can only jump this cell. And I want to jump. I don't want to clone because we only got three spaces left. So. Yeah, I figured he'd do that. But my answer to that is a jump over here. And then... Oh man, look at that. <laughs> it's even worse than the previous game. And I thought I did reasonably well over here. It looks. No, we did not. He's just he's just damn good stuff. Evil genius, with the emphasis on the latter. We'll go back to the book. Cheese our way through it. I don't think you can win of the invincible book, which always solves everything. So, there we go. Back to the library. <laughs> I mean, I don't really know where this actually leads into the library, but <laughs> I don't really remember seeing some gates there. Maybe we come through it over here, but we don't see that sequence. Right, book, do you have a third hint or have you solved it already for me? I hope you solved it. Yes, look, we have finished it. Right, there's no need really to go back to that room now. So, we won't. But we were upstairs really, <laughs> and we went all the way down through secret rooms and whatever. So, you know what, we'll go back upstairs to solve the rest of the puzzles there. Through the chimney, <laughs> again. <laughs> wow. I mean, we must be really, really dirty now. Such a beautiful house, and we're leaving well, black footsteps everywhere. Smearing our dirty hands from the chimney on the walls. Luckily, we don't see it, but... Right, let's go upstairs then. Okay. Okay, so that is Brian's room where we went last time. Um, we've done that, so let's go to another room, right? Let's see what's... Well, we have this room over here. 
Let's go over there. I remember that being closed last time, so we'll check that one out. Let's see here. What's inside here? Oh, <laughs> this is the bathroom. <laughs> right. Ew. What? Um... I don't know, but I don't think that this is physically possible, really. <laughs> you and creepy black widow spiders. I don't know, this house seems to be in Australia then. Or America. Really? <laughs> and you put us back in the library? Great. Well, we will return back upstairs. Thank you, game, for bringing me here. <laughs> we just came here. Or we came from here, I should say. Damn it. <laughs> game, what are you doing? <laughs> now I have to go through the chimney again. <laughs> That's not really what I wanted. Right, so, but I kind of forgot to check. I know that there is a puzzle in that room. I mean, each room has a puzzle, so I'll check that one out. I kind of, you know, I clicked on the teeth thinking that we would see, like, I don't know, uh, mystical water appearing from nowhere, floating bathtubs or whatever, but <laughs> then it turned out it did that. However, what kind of puzzle was here? It's not that, I know that, thank you. Oh. Right, it's on the floor. Now, is this the puzzle? That I think is the puzzle. Make your move if you dare. <laughs> yeah, it's this one. Right, this is another chess like puzzle, and it's a bit similar to the one with the bishops. In that we need to move uh, the black horses over here to the position of the white horses. However, we only got this one square of empty space. So that's what we got to work with. But um, yeah, let's get started with it, right? So. Oh, yeah, and I remember this one. This one's really slow. It's quite an easy Take one, really, you know, because horses are quite flexible in their movement. But, yeah, each time you move a piece, there's this long animation. And um, this is going to take forever, really. So. And there's some uh, time warp magic. Uh, uh, so that's how they move. Dude, you didn't know how horses on a chessboard move? <laughs> really, I am more stupid than I thought. <laughs> Well, well. Anyway, um, yeah, time warp mode for real now. Black is white, and white is black. Everything must change. I think we're close to finishing this puzzle now. See, it isn't that hard. You just need to, well, anticipate a bit how the horses move. Think in L shapes and think a few moves ahead and it's quite easy. As you have just seen. So, yeah, it's only a few moves left. You know, there's no real restrictions in this uh, puzzle, you know. It's just, you know, you've got to do it, really, and that's it. So... And now it's only two more moves and the puzzle is finished. So, quite an easy one. Quite a relaxing breather really after the microscope mini game where Stauf showed how brilliant he is and 
Well, you know, I totally understand why they removed that puzzle from like the later releases. I mean, it's freaking damn impossible. And the one dude who did it on YouTube, I mean, congrats to you, mate. That's just brilliant play you showed there. That was uh, the Skeletal Demon, my team. And, um, well, I must say that <laughs> right now the age of this game really showed because, well, you know, I mean, well, this is, I think that this was her payment for her evil intentions, you know? Just falling through the bottom of the bathtub and drowning in endless water. I mean, quite a, you know, ghostly and fitting ID into this house, but <laughs> the scream that you heard was supposed to be, you know, an underwater scream. <laughs> However, they had no means of recording it, they just morphed it to what they thought would be underwater, which doesn't sound anything like that, <laughs> as we now know, you know, in present day future technologies, but it is what it is really, and uh, you know, it's about the story and all that. She drowns in the bathtub. Only to never be seen again. And well, as we know, we can go through incredible small holes here, huh? Sink? <laughs> anyway, we solved this puzzle, so time to do the next. And I think there was yet another room that had opened up uh, right here on this floor. Where we haven't been yet. 